I am going to visit my sister. She's studying abroad in Florence this semester and we have a bunch of things planned. We're planning to go to Oktoberfest, potentially Greece. Not exactly sure what the plan is, but I have two backpacks and I'm ready to go, so yeah. So I just made it to Minneapolis and one thing I don't get is people who wear shorts on airplanes because I was freezing. I was so cold the entire flight. I have a long, a really long layover until I leave for Rome. So I'm gonna go get food. At the airport, naturally, um, I wore a jumpsuit. So I have to do an overall of the day for you. I'm in the bathroom because it's quiet. But I'm wearing this jumpsuit. It's super comfy and great for traveling. And then I have my Oxford bag and another backpack. And the only reason I have this much stuff is because my sister's studying abroad and I'm bringing stuff for her. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to Rome. Have a good day. I'm walking to my sister's place right now. It's like 5 a.m. my time, so I'm like kind of exhausted. Honestly, I'm probably gonna take a nap, but I'm also hungry, so. So I just got to my sister's place and I honestly just took a nap and I'm gonna take another one. And I'm hungry and I really need food, but I don't wanna figure it out. I wanna take a nap, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is my sister, Abby. She is two years younger than me, and so this is her last year of college, and she is studying abroad in Florence, Italy. And so, of course, I had to come visit her. Basically, she forgot her sneakers, and um, I had to bring them. <laughs> she had to. I, I had to fly all the way here and bring them for her, and we also have to go to Oktoberfest together next Which weekend. Which just happens to also be my 22nd birthday. So, so. I had to be here to celebrate, <laughs> clearly. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I I got here at 11, no, at noon, and she was in class, so her roommate let me in, and I slept for three hours because I, was, I had like two hours of sleep yeah. last night. And then um, she came back and she woke me up. I genuinely didn't even get out of bed to hug her. She was like, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, stay there. She's like, stay, stay in bed. I'm going to go shower. And I was like, oh, yay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I finally showered, which, God, it felt so good. I'm also wearing overalls today. I, I only brought one pair, <laughs> but I am wearing them the first day that I was here. You can tell what I'm comfortable in. Um, but we're going to go get food because I'm literally starving. And then we have like, what are we doing today? So we have, um, so I'm studying hospitality and um, Apicius is the first international hospitality school in Italy. And their seniors are doing a six course meal at a restaurant that's called Gonzo. So we have reservations, it's 35 euro, it's wine with Ooh. six courses. Ooh. Um, it's like amuse bouche, soup, salad, entree one, entree two. I guess I only need a little snack. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what we're doing tonight. Dolling up a little bit, um, and then we have reservations there. Okay, this is oh, the yeah. kitchen. I'm gonna leave it in here though, because it's still like kind of multi. The, the place I lived in when I studied around was not this nice. This part is oh my god, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, wow, what a view. Go stand in the corner and be all artsy. Oh, goodness. Bask off into the sunset. Oh, cute. So she was just telling me <laughs> that the statue. This guy and the one in the green and then this the guy like hitting the horse. They all have the same face on them. Because the guy who made them put his own face on them? Yeah, I think so. The guy who paid for them or the guy who designed them or something like that. She's obviously a professional tour guide. Yeah, uh -huh. she's doing it. Follow me this way. Okay, 
so we are going, where are we going? Um, so we're going to Gonzo. It's the restaurant that's run by the students of the hospitality school. She's a hospitality student. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a six course meal, so I'm excited. Oh, let's do a fit. Okay, um, this dress I got from Zara a while back, and then um, I just am wearing these like black shoes. They're from Ketsona, um, and then my jewelry, I think, is just from like Princess Polly or something like that. My earrings actually are from a couple different stores on Etsy, and then my rings I've kind of just collected from like in Michigan. It's funny, this dress that I'm wearing, I bought it like six months ago and I've only worn it once and it was in Italy. Oh, we're in Italy again. Oh, fine. Yeah, but it was in Southern Italy in Postano. This is my outfit. This is the dress. You can't really see, but it's a long dress. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It has like a little cut out yeah. moment. Anyways, yeah. Um, we're excited for dinner, so bye. Okay, this course has Pop Rocks. Abby taste test it. Yeah. Is it good? I know. I've had Pop Rocks in so long. I love that. Is the Pop Rocks in the sorbet? No, it's like the white stuff. Okay. What flavor is this? Um, raspberry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, so we're walking home now, and are we going straight? No. When do we turn? I'll know when I see it. Oh my god, there it is. This here, wait. Once you see this, right? Yeah, then we know to turn. So we're turning, yeah. So thoughts on day one in Florence. Very fun. It was it was entertaining. Um hanging out <laughs> with my sister and my ah. friends. I haven't so, seen you in so long. I know. Okay, so a little bit of background on me and my sister. She lives in Michigan. She's a bitch, and I hated her growing up. I also hated her growing up, but she lives in Michigan, mm -hmm. and I live in North Dakota. We live two time zones away. Two time zones away. No, it's one time Wait, zone. Wait, Andrew lives in a different... We live one time zone away, but we don't see each other that often. Like... Maybe once over the holidays if we're lucky. Yeah. And then... Or like a special trip if we can plan one. Like, now. Right, right now. Exactly. And so, that's why this is so special. That I'm able to be here with her. Because mm -hmm. I would kill her if we lived in the same town, probably. Yeah. We would... We would potentially... Which is why you can't... She can't move to Boston. She's pissed because I told her tonight that I might be moving to Boston and she doesn't want us to live in the same city, obviously, because we are sisters and do you we know what? each other. Do you know what? I'm graduating in May and my lease ends the day after graduation, so I will be in a new city. You're not moving until months after that, so if I snag Boston first, it's mine, baby. You'd love me if I moved there. You would. I would love you for two seconds until then it would go downhill. We wouldn't have to hang out every day. No, oh God, I would not hang out with you every day. No, I wouldn't hang out with you every day. Gosh, no, because we're a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not. We know our boundaries. <laughs> we know we love each other. We know our boundaries. <laughs> I love her for a couple days. Right? Yeah. So ask me again in two days how this trip is going. Okay, so today is day two. I have a friend who studied abroad in Florence, gave us a list of recommendations, and then I gave it to her. She lives here, and I was like, what do you want to do? Yeah, so I added what I wanted to do and made a little walking route. So we're gonna go to a couple markets and then cross the river, because there's like a very iconic bridge. And along the way, get gelato, get pizza, and then we're gonna come back, plan last minute trip to Greece for the weekend. And then we're gonna go get dinner 
get a bottle of wine, and then go up to this like Piaz Michelangelo and watch the sunset over Florence. It, I've been up there before, it's gorgeous. Uh, Not at sunset though, so I'm super excited. I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. I want some pastries and some coffee and yeah. some gelato and all of the Italian things. Affogato is gelato dumped into an espresso shot. So I've actually had it before. That's my favorite. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, show us the fit. <laughs> All right, this is the fit. So this um, top is, I think, Billabong. I got it on vacation in Florida. And then these shorts, I thrifted, and they- Oh, those are cute. They're very cute. They were down to here, which is cute, but just made me look short. So then I got them hemmed. Wow. And then I'm wearing hokas. They're my birthday present. Um, that's the reason Hannah came, to give me my shoes. <laughs> You're um, welcome. Yeah. I also got this at a secondhand store. Um, this is my outfit for the day. You'll notice no overall snowman <laughs> suit. Um, I got these pants last time I was in Spain and I loved them for quite a long time. My fanny pack, black t-shirt, baggy sunglasses. Pretty basic outfit, but like, on top. Like I said, my university is a hospitality school, so there's what's called experiential learning. So I could have signed up for a class that has 150 additional hours where I work at one of the like locations. So like, this is Fedora. It's a like um, bistro and like pastry shop. And there's also Sorgiva, which is a, a spa. And then there's an Airbnb that the school runs. And then there's Gonzo, which is where we ate last night. Okay, should we cheers? Cheers. Okay, so mine's chocolate and hers is cheesecake. Yeah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little long. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. so much money but I but I got some really cute stuff I got a I got a wine what is it wine opener mm -hmm. and it's like it's cute I'll show you I guess <laughs> I can't I cannot describe it verbally um, and then I got a walnut cracker that's a butt so like you spread the eggs and then crack it yeah it was from this like what was it like a vintage it, yeah like, it was like, like um a, so there's this very local market and they have a bunch of fruits, vegetable, you can go grocery shopping. And then there's a vintage side that yes. there's like a ton of antiques, art. And I got this like little Jaguar that opens. It's really cool. I'm very excited to put it in my apartment. And like, seriously, like all of the chandeliers that they had, I would have bought all of them uh, yeah. if I could ship stuff We're back home. We're walking by the church. <laughs> I was like, what church? That church. <laughs> You can't even see no, that we were, we're on a mission it. to go get pizza because I am hungry. Pizza and then gelato. Yes, then gelato. <laughs> and then we're going to plan a trip. Okay, so 
so we're walking to Piazza di Michelangelo. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna watch the sunset. <laughs> Clearly, the sun is kind of already setting. We honestly, we took a nap after lunch that lasted a little bit too long. Too long. But and that's okay. We're really just gonna go up there and drink wine. Yeah, we got some wine recommended by a friend. Um, so yeah. I'll get a nice little twist. All right, so I got some kind of gnocchi. It's really hot though, so I haven't eaten much of it. And then what did you get? I think I got a rigatoni with ricotta. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Yes. Hello. Okay, Abby. I got spaghetti. Of course, because we're <laughs> allergen free. Uh, and Italy. Mm -hmm. Don't you have something to say? We're gonna, okay, okay. So we went and we saw the sunset on Piazza Michelangelo, and then we went to dinner, which was not the correct dinner place that I thought we were gonna go to, because I really wanted to get drunk and spaghetti, but I didn't. Instead, I just got normal spaghetti, which was still phenomenal. And now, we're on our way to the Lion's Fountain to meet up with some friends. Um, and then probably go to bed, because you know what? We're going to fucking Greece tomorrow. Do you have anything to add to the vlog? Mm, I'm pretty wine drunk right now. I'm loving the sucker that the restaurant gave me. I'm they, excited for Greece tomorrow. <laughs> we are going to Greece tomorrow. So um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Comment what you want to see next when we'll be in Greece tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, jeez. You have to rub the boar's nose. <laughs> have you guys rubbed the boar's nose? Uh, it's good yeah, luck. It's good, good luck. Oh, no, it's good luck. You have to. Rub the nose. Yes. Good luck forever. Good job. Yes. Uh, keep going. This is your home. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell Abby, me where are we? Uh, Santorini, Greece, baby. <laughs> We're at the beach right now. They're taking thirst trap photos. I told them that they have to help me because I don't do that. I'm not good at it. But my sister's pretty good at it, so she's gonna direct mine next. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. As you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you
I figured I should update you. We kind of kind of sucked at the whole vlogging thing while we've been in Greece. And so just a little recap. So the first day we got here, we're staying in a private hostel room. So there's four beds, but we have the whole room to ourselves. It has a lock and everything, which has been really nice. Cause a lot of times if you stay in a hostel in like the cheaper room, you pay like 15 euro a night, but you are in a room with like 10 people and you just share the room is a bunch of bunk beds. So this is really nice. Um, and then we went to, we're staying in Parissa Beach. And so that is on the south side of the island. Um, and then Fira is the capital. And then Oya is like the scenic area. So those are kind of like the three big main cities in Santorini. So the first day we spent the morning at the beach and we took some thirst traps. Um, my sister and her friends are very good at that. And I am not, never have been. Um, and I think a big part of it, honestly, is just because, like, I have never been, like, fully comfortable with my body, my sexiness, and everything. Um, you know, the whole self-love, body positivity thing. And, you know, recently, I have been able to embrace that. And so, I was like, are you guys gonna help me take, like, a sexy photo? Because, like, I'm not really good at it, but I want one. Anyways. <laughs> so, we took some sexy pictures. <laughs> and then, um, we went to Fira. Um, and we spent the afternoon in Fira. We did some shopping. We went out to dinner. We watched the sunset during dinner. We got ice cream, gelato, my apologies. Um, and it was really nice. Um, and then we went out in Fira um, to the bars. We were dancing. At some point I was dancing on a table, on a bar. So was my friend. Um, yeah, it was just, it was really fun. And um, then we came back slept in the next morning we went to the beach then we went out to Oya the next day um and spent the afternoon in Oya we went to the a uh, winery uh and had Vincenti um wine which is a local wine to this area and it's definitely a sweet wine I feel like it was comparable to a port wine um and yeah it was really good kind of like a desserty type wine and we got like a cheese board to go with it. We tried a couple local cheeses, um, some goat cheeses, one that was called arsenic, which is Greek for male and also Greek for poison, but also was a really sharp yellow cheese that was delicious and good with our wine. <laughs> um, and then they, we got a recommendation for like a really good authentic Greek food place, but we were so full from our wine and cheese that we took the bus back to Fira, got um, $3 euros from Lucky's, which we had eaten at the day before. And it was so good. And then we went back home and we kind of had an early night. Um, we went and got ice cream and like a late night pastry. Um, but other than that, we kind of called it a night. And then um, I stayed up working because I had some stuff to do, um, unfortunately. And then today we slept in, it's noon. We just ate breakfast and we're going to spend the day at the beach. Our flight isn't until like midnight. So we have until like 10 to get to the airport. So we're just going to hang out at the beach, have dinner, maybe drink a bottle of wine, pack up and then head back to Venice, which is where we flew out of. And then we're spending a night in Venice and then we're heading back to Florence. So that's kind of the quick rundown. Hopefully I'll have some videos in here with this talking. So it's not so boring, but um, we're having a blast. It's really fun. The girls are at the beach right now. I need to send a couple emails because, you know, um, the problems of owning a couple businesses. Uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for now. Cheers to our last night in Greece. Cheers. <laughs>
Venice and part of the city is underwater. <laughs> like I think this is like one of the main squares and you see over here there's literally people eating at this restaurant. Today we're going to the Duomo. We're back in Florence. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go, so we have tickets to go inside of the Duomo today. Okay, so we have these paninis from this place, which are apparently some of the best in the world, so. Yeah. Uh, waving in the background of the video. No. The waiter <laughs> just no. waved. I like the plum a lot. I like the plum too. And the honey lavender actually. I like them both. Well I dropped my paintbrush onto the roof so that's a bummer just because it's my favorite paintbrush but we're gonna keep on keeping on and I'm sad that I'm no longer owner of that paintbrush, but it is what it is. Last time dreading to climb these stairs. I meant to say last time climbing these dreaded stairs. I said it backwards. Anyways, last year we, we did split a bottle of wine at dinner, but um, last time climbing all of these stairs to her apartment for me. Abby, what do you have to say for yourself? Like I said before, I hope I have a good-looking booty after this. A good-looking what? Booty? <laughs> you already have a good-looking booty. That is true. Anyways, we're gonna go pack for Oktoberfest. So just an update for you. Um, we are leaving for Oktoberfest in about an hour. Uh, we're doing an overnight bus. We're leaving soon, the bus takes us overnight to Munich from Florence and then we'll get there at like seven in the morning, refresh, and then go right to Oktoberfest. Hey. It's gonna be one heck of a weekend. Um, it's also Abby's birthday, so, hey. <laughs> so we'll be celebrating her 21st, 22nd, geez, her 22nd yeah. birthday. Um, so that will be really fun. Um, but yeah, so today was our last day in Florence. We went and got dinner at, what was the place called that we went to? Symbiosi Cafe! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back, Abby, to the vlog. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're opposites! I am like a very light colored person though. I feel like you're always in black and I'm always in cream and tan. We are complete opposites. Yeah. So I like, factual. I curled my hair a lot, so then hopefully on the overnight bus it'll die down and I can brush it out and have curls for the first day of Oktoberfest. I did curl my hair, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna end up putting it up in braids. 
I'll probably do the same. Last time I was at Oktoberfest, well, it wasn't Oktoberfest, it was Springfest, and it was in 2019, so it was five years ago. Um, so yeah, going back, wearing the same outfit. Um, our dinner tonight was really good. Where did we go? Symbiosis? Yeah, it? okay, so we went to Symbiosis. It has a cafe, it has a pizzeria, and it has a restaurant. So Although we went to the restaurant, we split a bottle of wine, I got truffle tortellini pasta you got ravioli i got ravioli it was very good um we went shopping oh yeah i bought this <laughs> i bought a sweatsuit because it's supposed to be cold at um october it's supposed to be raining. and we're camping um i don't know if i mentioned that but we are tent camping yay i'm gonna blame her for this one purely yeah. because she and all her study abroad friends are on a budget and i was like cool we'll camp yeah but it's us and like a hundred other study abroad students there's like a shit ton of people camping i mean like that's like the thing to do so it'll be fun um yeah so we have to walk to the train station the bus station somewhere tonight Doesn't yeah matter. it's like 15 minutes so we should leave it it's pretty soon yeah so we're gonna leave soon um take our overnight bus hopefully we can sleep on the bus uh and then we will be at Oktoberfest for two days, and then I am flying home from Munich and, well, from Frankfurt, hopefully. And she hopefully. is taking the overnight bus back to Florence on her birthday. <laughs> on her birthday. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. I kind of have like a little bit of the sniffles. And so, hoping that. Get away from me. You're hoping that this does not make it worse camping out in the cold, but it probably will. So, yay! Never in a million years would I have thought that I would be doing my makeup in a tent in a forest in Munich. Right? Two person tent and our friend's tent and our little tent farm. <laughs>
This ain't my sweatshirt. This ain't my hat. So my dirty home has not been the greatest. They lost my bag and I missed my connecting flight, but um, I should make it home tonight still, which is only a day later than planned, but honestly, it is what it is. Um, I leave in two days for Vegas, so at least I didn't get back tomorrow or the day I was supposed to leave for Vegas. So of all the things to go wrong, at least they didn't go that wrong. Um, besides that, I am really looking forward to sleeping in a bed because I haven't slept in a bed in like five days because I took um, an overnight bus and then camped and then I took an overnight train and then I took another overnight bus and then I took an overnight flight and so actually it wasn't an overnight flight it was just a nine hour flight in the middle of the day but I slept the entire time so really in need of a shower laying down in my bed changing out of my clothes the normal things um, and then looking forward to spending all day tomorrow working on my big surprise, my big secret. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I have a really huge announcement coming mid-October. And then um, getting ready to go to Vegas. My assistant's coming in tomorrow, even though she doesn't normally, to help me get everything last minute prepped. Um, so that's going to be good. The only thing that I didn't get to do that I was planning to do was get my hair done. I have a photo shoot next week, but she squeezed me in next week before the photo shoot, so that's all good too. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog of my trip. Um, I didn't really get a lot of the super chaotic ending because it was really chaotic and I was really tired, but um, yeah, don't forget to, you know, all the things, like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the rest of my videos, and I'll be posting a vlog of my trip to Vegas next. I'll be selling my art at Vegas Pride, so stay tuned for that.